hello 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 ladies and gentlemen i literally hope you guys are all having a absolutely fantastic day well i just want to jump into it and you know this might be another sensitive topic but remember this all comes from a place of love so let's talk about the beauty standard being this racially ambiguous woman like a kim kardashian let's you know what let's just call the the beauty standard the kim k because i'm gonna be quite honest with you i really feel that A reason why a lot of us are insecure, and I'm going to be honest when I say I'm a black woman, right? So black women, we are the furthest away from the Kim Kardashian. You understand? We have brown skin. She has white skin. We have curly coily hair she has straight type one hair you understand so we are the furthest away from the kim kardashian beauty standard so that's why so many of us deep down inside are insecure about our looks let's go within ladies and gentlemen now I'm going to be very open and upfront. So I was listening to something about beauty and it was like in a YouTube video. And in the video, they said, close your eyes and picture a beautiful woman. What is the first image that comes to your mind? And I'm going to be 1000% honest with you. Kim Kardashian was the first thing that came to my mind and I was disappointed in myself in a way right not saying because Kim Kardashian not beautiful because yes you know she had a lot of surgery you know what I'm saying it is what it is I'm not hating but you know what I'm saying so her after surgery you know the look that she's going for right now yes you know she's a beautiful woman because right now that's the idealistic standard of beauty you know the small narrow nose the big cartoon character type ass the old the over exaggerated jay-z lips you understand what i'm saying so the type one hair you know the extremely light skin you understand what i'm saying and if you are feeling insecure or ugly or whatever I urge you to look within because there is no such thing as beauty. In the previous video, I talked about how the women in China, I'll put a video, I'll put a a link so y'all can watch that video. And I'll also put some images of what I was talking about in that video as well. Chinese women will bind their feet to be three inches. They will literally take their feet, bend them in half, and tape them around and around so that the bones can be broken. These feet look absolutely grotesque out of the shoes. They look like the worst deformity literally to exist to mankind. But at that time, that was the beauty standard. You understand? I was also saying how a tribe in East Africa, they pluck out their edges. And the reason why they pluck out their edges is to make their foreheads look as big as possible. That is the standard of beauty. You understand? Some cultures, the standard of beauty is being thin. Some cultures, the standard of beauty is being big. You understand what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, in every culture, there's a standard of beauty. If you feel, quote unquote, unattractive because you have a, quote unquote, big forehead, don't. Because guess what? In another damn society, you're looked at like a goddamn queen of the earth. Worship you. You get the best husband because your forehead is big. And I mean this. Look this up. You know, you ever seen cultures 
where <clears throat> the Asians and the Africans do this. Well, this was, I don't know if they still do this, but where they elongate the necks, put the ring, you know, so it's like the, the longer the neck was, the more beautiful you were seemed. You know what I'm saying? So society always has some type of beauty standard. They want to chop you up and, you know, make you all uncomfortable to fit into this box. You understand what I'm saying? But at the eye, at the end of the day, there's no need to fit into a box. Because think of the snowflake. You have to think of a snowflake, right? When you look at a snowflake under a microscope, well, you don't even have to look. When you look at a snowflake, every single snowflake, every single snowflake looks 100% different from the other. All snowflakes look different. And guess what? All snowflakes are equally beautiful. What I'm noticing in society is we're not trying to show up as the best beautiful versions of ourselves. We're trying to show up as somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you contour your nose. You change your hair. You go from 4C to 1A. You got the fake lashes. Listen, I'm not saying anything about fake lashes or anything. You know, because I actually like lashes myself. Okay, y'all. Don't be too sensitive. Hear the bigger message. Listen to the bigger message, okay? You know? But the point is, you know what I'm saying? We are focused on trying to be like someone else. And what happens is we're all trying to be like someone else. So I'm noticing everyone is a copy of everyone else. You know, a friend of mine, you know, visited Philly and he was like, all the girls in Philadelphia look exactly the same. You know, the long eyelashes, the weave, the, you know, the contour, like it's the same type of girl over and over and over and over and over again god made us all unique for a reason you understand what i'm saying work on your beauty if your hair is short and it's dry and it's brittle work on moisturization to get your hair long you want long hair you don't have to buy it it may take time, dedication, and energy. That's the worst problem with this society. We have a microwave society in which we think things are going to happen overnight. So currently, right now, I'm working on regrowing my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Yes, I could easily slap on some fake eyebrows. Yes, I could easily slap on some fake eyelashes. But the thing is, when I take those fake eyebrows and eyelashes off, how do I feel about the real me? You understand what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, I urge you, please, ladies, because this is literally coming from a place of love. I'm telling you, because there was one point in time I did not feel attractive. You understand? It wasn't until I started working on my own beauty not somebody else's beauty not getting a weave you know what i'm saying to cover up my own hair not you know not getting contour on my nose to cover up my natural nose you know like i'm working on so right now i'm working on getting my my skin is clearing up i've been doing some really intense skin stuff with um turmeric is doing wonders I'm also, like I said, I'm doing this challenge with the, um, not biotin, but what is that oil? Help me out. Help me out. Jamaican black castor oil for my eyebrows and eyelashes to elongate them and to bring the hair back. You see this? I'm working on my edges. Pray for my edges, y'all. Pray for my edges. (laughs) No, seriously, like I've been working on my edges, trying to get my edge, not trying, we do, we don't try, we do, so I've been working on my edges, trying to get my 
here we go. try again i've been working on my edges getting my edges back you know just working on myself like you know working on different hyper hyper pigmentations yes i can easily put on makeup and hide the hyper pigmentation but it's like when i take off the makeup how am i going to feel about the me i'm me you understand what i'm saying me with no makeup the real me so that's my whole thing ladies and gentlemen this definitely more than likely going to be a part two to this video because we women are literally killing ourselves to look like women who don't even look like themselves when they take off their mask and their costume you know we're trying to look like their costume and their mask you know so i urge you if you are not feeling attractive find out why sit with yourself and say why don't i feel pretty is it my hair is it my skin is it my hygiene whatever it is sit with yourself and say okay i don't feel so let's just say i don't feel pretty because of my hair my hair doesn't grow whatever take the time hours research 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 what's healthy for your hair research what makes your hair grow and be consistent and consistent and consistent and consistent and consistent about it until you see results ladies growth is not going to be an overnight thing and that's one thing i had to learn okay so let's take care of ourselves let's show up to be the best version of us you understand if you feel a little overweight and you say you know what i feel like where i i feel insecure is because i need to lose some weight then make a plan be consistent lose five pounds a month be consistent every time you lose five pounds a month you reward yourself on the first of the month then lose five pounds every month before you know it let's just say you want to lose 20 pounds after four months you're down 20 pounds now look at you looking all hot and sexy for the summer but i'm gonna end this video here before it gets long i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys are living your best life and if you're still here i would really appreciate it if you could subscribe because my birthday is literally in 13 days and i just wanted a thousand subscribers for my birthday because i've been working on my own consistency and i just really appreciate y'all thank you and have a good one